Whether you know your car from the ground up or if your know-how is only skin deep, check out the savings at AutoWorks, the discount place for auto parts. Now, during our big spring car care sale, get Quaker State 10W30 motor oil, just 79 cents a quart, limit 12. And Champion non-resistor type spark plugs, just 69 cents each. Or resistor type, just 89 cents each, limit 16. So whatever it takes to take care of your car, give it the works. At AutoWorks, the discount place for auto parts. We'll sing you a song. We'll make you laugh. We'll make you think. Have we got stories to tell you? We'll take you to book dance. We make you feel at home. Tennessee will put a song in your heart and help you remember. You'll have the time of your life in Tennessee. We'll take you for a roll on the river and then twang, pluck, pick, pound, thump, strum, drum, clap, and stomp for you. We'll show you a good time. That's what we'll do. I thought it was a lie. Who can make glasses in an hour? It may seem hard to believe, but you really can get quality eyeglasses in about an hour at Lens Crafters. Our in-house laboratories can custom grind your exact prescription in about an hour. I had my glasses in less than an hour. I am now a believer. Lens Crafters, quality eyeglasses in about an hour. Castleton Square and Greenwood Park Malls and at the corner of Lafayette and Georgetown Roads. Vital's Views, brought to you by Union Federal Savings Bank. All your bank should be. It's time for Vital's Views, and here we are in Dick's backyard in Brady, Florida. <laughs> Dick, Bobby and I have already talked about the matchup for this first ball game, and obviously eyes are on Dominique and Chuck. Well, you know, you got two different style players. Chuck Person's a guy from the old school. He's not a guy with a lot of flash and a lot of pizzazz. He's a guy with a great jump shot. Tough. He's not going to be intimidated. He battles you physically, and to me, has been the rookie of the year in the NBA, despite the great flair and excitement down in Cleveland with Ron Hart. Harper. On the other side, you got the Dominique, a highlights film every time he plays, plays above the rim, Mr. Excitement, a guy that can explode, a guy that loves the open court. He's got so much flair about him. He's just an absolute uh, a dynamite individual performer. But it should be interesting watching these two clashing styles go head to head. And what's been interesting, uh -huh. speaking of clashing, is a couple of times during the season, there have been fisticuffs <laughs> with these two guys. Chuck well, doesn't back uh -huh. down to anybody. Well, you know, Chuck's got a reputation around the league as a bit like Marvin Hagler. He's going to come out battling against anybody. He's going to lay those dukes up and say, hey, baby, I can play. I'm not intimidated. Forget the rookie tag. I'm for real. You know what's amazing? I think back at that summer day, so hot in that arena down at Market Square, and thinking about those booming boos as they exploded from the rafters when Donnie Walsh said, yes, the Indiana Pacers take Chuck Person from Auburn and the boos, boo, boo. And I came up on a microphone and I said, let me tell you people something. I watched Chuck Person play at Auburn, working with ESPN, did several games, and I can tell you now, he is a lock, the biggest lock since Yale to be a 10-year NBA player. I told him, we either remodel this kitchen or I go on strike. We went to Union Federal for a home equity loan. The people at Union Federal were so helpful, and we got a great rate. Now we have a new kitchen and a new bank. Now I think we're going to need a family room. Union Federal Savings Bank, all the bank should be. Vital's Views, brought to you by Union Federal Savings Bank. All your bank should be. Hey guys, great barbecue. Yeah, plenty of Miller light. Have a can, Rodney. This one's empty. Mighty fine playing, Jim. Wouldn't me. Something tells me we're not alone in the universe. Hey, you're right, Numa. I wonder what they want. Probably our Miller Lite, because it tastes great. Let's fill it! Hey, Sway! Look! <laughs> oh, Mickey! We're doomed. I tell you, we don't have no respect. So this is Earth, huh? Where were the girls? Wow! Well, what a pack of handsome guys! No matter where you're from, there's only one light beer. Miller Lite. 
I tell you, it's not easy being us. Huh? Oh, what a crowd, what a crowd. Pacer Halftime is brought to you by Vincent Spurs. Make yours a winning season at Vincent Spurs. Keystone at the Crossing and in Mooresville. I am here with Paul Lutz and Don Thornton of the Wheel Horse people, and we have got a real exciting program that's going to go on throughout the playoffs. Yes, uh, Ken, Wheel Horse being an Indiana-based company for over the past 40 years, uh, are really proud to be associated with this year's 1987 Pacer team, which is playoff bound. And uh, we're going to be presenting the uh, what we're what we're calling the Wheel Horse Assistance Award this year, and it will be awarded to the Pacer who is credited with the most assist during the 1987 playoffs, and uh, he will be awarded a 1987 Wheel Horse Garden Tractor to assist him in doing the big jobs he has around the home. And I'll tell you, this is a great thing. I know Coach Jack Ramsey is real thrilled about this because it highlights maybe the guy that doesn't score a lot, but the guy that, that helps somebody get the ball in the basket. Indiana has been assisting Wheel Horse for a lot of years now <laughs> with sales and marketing, and this is our home, and we want to be a part of it. Yeah. Well, we're excited about it and glad you're with us. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and we'll look to see who wins. Well, we'll be chalking up those assists for sure, and we'll have more basketball and tell you about those assist totals right after this. From this reporter's perspective, a once-in-a-lifetime evening. Boy, has she got a future. Thrilling. I loved it. Just thrilling. Oh, my family's known her for years. She's as gracious and fun as she is pretty. What a beautiful woman. She's this city's leading lady. Vincent Spurs, the your leading lady, too. It's halftime, and I'm with Ray Goodman of Goodman Jewelers. And, Ray, you've been long associated with the Indiana Pacers with your 110% award. It's great to be able to present it in a playoff game. It's wonderful. It's unusual. I look forward to doing it again next year. Uh-huh. This year, uh, well, as it is every year, you give away a wonderful award. We give awards at each game. And then at the end of the season, we give a Rolex 18-karat gold and steel watch and a 14-karat gold medallion to memorialize this award. And it's an award of quality for someone whose play has been quality, playing that, great improvement, Steve Stepanovich this year. That's the point. It's a quality award for, for a truly quality performance. And Ray, we really appreciate your involvement. I know it's been a great fun season for you this year with the excitement of the ball club. It's wonderful. I've, I've enjoyed it immensely. All right. Ray Goodman, thank you very much for being with us at halftime. Steve Stepanovich will enjoy his watch and will enjoy more after we take this time out on Channel 4. Pacer Halftime was brought to you by Vincent's Furs. Make yours a winning season at Vincent's Furs. Keystone at the Crossing and in Mooresville. And we're back live at the Omni. It is 54-51, Atlanta by three at halftime and a very interesting first half of basketball, Bobby. Well, we've, we've just played terrific. Uh, you know, we're on their floor and uh, we're in the ball game. And uh, after last night, Ken, watching uh, Denver play Los Angeles and Dallas play Seattle, uh, blowout ball games. We're coming in here and we're really playing a great one. They're playing a good basketball game. Offensively, the ball club has clicked pretty well. They've rebounded the ball pretty well. Probably a couple of more turnovers than we like. Take a look at the stats right there as it's uh, 9 out of 15 from the free throw line for Indiana, 16 out of 22 for Atlanta. So the Pacers can knock down a few more free throws and help themselves. But the field goal shooting, outstanding. 21 out of 40 to their 19 out of 43. And a lead in the rebound totals. And again, a couple of more turnovers in that first quarter than we would have liked. I, I think really that's what has uh, kept us in the ball game is we've been doing a good job defensively, but we've been doing a good, uh, good job off the boards. Take a look at the leading scores for Indiana, 16 for Person, 15 for Tisdale. And Herb Williams, uh, they've had to score because Herbie's been on the bench with three fouls. Stepanovich and Fleming, eight apiece. We can take a look at the leading scores for Atlanta as well as uh, they have uh, gotten themselves one heck of a ball game out of Willis, who has scored 15 points. There you see Chuck and uh, Carr with nine off the bench. Wilkins has been held to eight. He's three out of 13. We've done the job on him. 
Well, that scares me a little bit <laughs> because uh, you're not going to go through 48 minutes and do that kind of defensive job on uh, on uh, Dominic Wilkins. Uh, at the same time, that's what's going to have to continue in the second half for the Indiana Pacers to get from this three-point deficit and get a victory. We want to uh, acknowledge the fact that a lot of folks made the trip here to Atlanta from Indiana. We want to say hello to Bob and Sue Brown. We also want to uh, acknowledge the fact that Mark Andrew and a whole boatload of folks from the ticket staff made it here for the, uh, for the ball game, and giving their support to the Pacers in their first playoff game in a long time. I got in a little hassle day over at the hotel we were with a fellow from Atlanta. I said, I said, Indianapolis is a better sports town than Atlanta is. And, uh, of course, you know, the, the Pacers and the Colts have drawn uh, real well. And the thing I'd like to see, they're sold out here tonight. I'd like to see us have a sellout crowd when we go, because we're playing well. If we continue to do this, we should sell the place out when we go back Wednesday. And I'll tell you what, fans, tickets are available for that ball game on Wednesday. Get to Market Square Arena or call Ticketmaster 297-5151. Their operators are on duty right now. We'll be back with the second half. There you see the score. Stay with us on Channel 4. In 1973, a small bar served the first light beer. The response was unanimous. Tastes great. Here was a beer with its own special brewing process. Less filling. It's brewed from the ground up, not watered down. Tastes great. It's less filling. It Today there are lots of lights around, but none are brewed like Miller Light, and none can match the taste. Tastes great! Tastes great! Hey, Bill, sounds like that kind of place. There's only one light beer, Miller Light. In Marysville, Ohio, about all there is to do is watch the grass grow. Looks good this year. Yep. Coincidentally, Marysville is the home of Scott's Lawn Products. Must be the tri nice carrier molecular bonding process. Which explains Scott's superior technology. Could be the shark chain polymer nitrogen. Gordon? Well, we had a lot of rain. When all there is to do is watch the grass grow, you really get to know grass. Starting Thursday, April 23rd at 10 a.m., many prices will be marked down in every Highland store. So take advantage of the savings during Highland's incredible three-day markdown sale. Like this GE 9-inch color TV with automatic color control for just $136. And this sharp digital auto reverse car stereo with free normal installation, only $98. Come save 5 to 40% during Highland's three-day markdown sale. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday only, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Hey, you know, when you buy a Pantera's Price Buster for $9.95, you not only get a second pizza free, you get all the free refills of Coca-Cola you want. <laughs> free pizza and free Coke at Pantera's. Now there's a deal that'll ring your bell. You gonna take on all the movies by yourself there, sir? How much help do you think I need? Nick Nolte, Extreme Prejudice, Rated R. More of the same on Sunday. The Pacers and the Hawks from the Omni, 6 o'clock right here on Channel 4. There you see the WIBC Pacer Gator. You'll see him Wednesday, and you'll hear Bobby Leonard and me on the Pacer postgame show tonight on WIBC after the ball game. Flip over to 1070 AM and join us by calling... 239-1070 will be on a special hour-long broadcast to talk about this game and have some fun with the fans who've been listening and watching back in Indianapolis. Well, I'm just hoping, the thing that I'm hoping now, it's a new 24 minutes, and if we can come up with the effort in the second half, and if we did in the first half, we got a chance to win this ball game. Other NBA action in the playoff tonight. Washington is at Detroit. Philadelphia is at Milwaukee. Houston is at Portland. There, of course, were four big games last night in the NBA and some amazing games. And, of course, the Pacers are trying to pull the first upset in the playoffs so far this year. Interesting thing about the NBA playoffs. In the 52 best-of-five series in NBA history, the home team has won 39 of them. And it's uh, also interesting to note that uh, in the 24 best of five series that have been played since 1984 when they reinstated this format, the opening game winner has won 21 out of those 24. For the first game, definitely is important. We're underway and Spud Webb is Doc on Rivers. the floor. Doc Rivers must be injured or something. They're starting Spud here in the second half. He's on the floor with Randy Whitman, Dominique Wilkins, Tree Rollins, and Kevin Willis for Atlanta. Fleming 
Carson. Stepanovich, Long, and Williams on the floor. Herbie down there with three, and he's on Willis. To Spud, Whitman's open. First two. Nope, he missed. Throw it off the rim, and Indiana has the rebound. Carson got whacked in the eye. We have a 20-second 20 timeout. David Craig, the trainer, off the bench in a hurry. And he'll go out and take a look at Chuck Person. Boy, he got whacked in the mouth the other day in practice. And it looked a lot worse than it eventually was. And now he gets it uh, gets whacked in the eye. And hopefully he'll be all right. This ball game is brought to you in part by Taco Bell restaurants. Throughout the Indianapolis area, proud sponsors of the Pacers, Taco Bell. And the Pacers, a winning team. Also brought to you by Hook's Dependable Drug Stores, where we like to see you smile. Chuck wears a special mouthpiece to protect uh, uh, his teeth uh, that he got whacked, uh, where he got whacked in the mouth the other day in practice. This time again, it was in the eye, and apparently nothing too serious. We're getting set to go. So it's still a three-point Atlanta lead. The Pacers trying to trim it somewhat right here with this possession. John Long. Bullet pass to Bullet. Couldn't hang on. Spud takes it away. They're going to have to hurry and get him stopped. Now, they couldn't hang on as the turnovers go back and forth. I'll tell you what, talk about back and forth. 15 lead changes in this ball game. It has been a seesaw affair. Herbie. And the rebound goes down to Rollins. And John Long throws it, or gets the ball as Atlanta throws it away. Kicking it around, a little sloppy here to start the second half. John Long has it partially blocked and taken away. Something's going to give here pretty soon. Kevin Willis with Steepo on him.